Hey guys, Grew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are here to start a new Star Wars Disney Plus show, This Xander. And it is a three episode drop, so you might see, hey, this video seems a little long. Hey, that title seems a little weird. We're watching all three episodes right now. So strap in everybody. We're going to be watching them, talking about them. Little tiny discussion between the episodes, longer discussion after. So make sure you <laughs> stick around. You're going to want to watch this whole video. Uh, if you've never experienced Star Wars with Blind Wing. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, my oh god. come on. It's, That's definitely it's him. It's definitely him. He's Look at blue. that belt buckle. Look at the belt buckle. He's blue. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Just a little bit of that extra spice you need to really enjoy. So uh, please sure. consider subscribing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you also like Star Wars and you want to see more, we have Badonka Gonk or Star Wars podcast where we cover all other things uh, in the Star Wars universe. Yes, but that's going to be tomorrow. That live is tomorrow. At three o'clock, which is the twenty second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in in that, we're gonna we probably will talk a little tiny bit about Andor, but we're sure. also gonna be talking about Rebel Rising, a uh, a, a book about Jin Erso from Rogue One, as Ooh. is Cassie and Ander. So I'm excited to check that out, but not more than this show, because I am I love Rogue One. I've loved Rogue One since it came out. It's one of my favorite of the Disney era Sure, it was really good. I liked it a lot. And a lot of people responsible for what that movie became is responsible for this movie. So well, good. Oh, I'm sorry, this series. Mm. I'm excited to see what they do with it, and yeah. the, the scope that they've done with this, because the seasons yep. have grown. Two right? seasons, 24 episodes. Yeah, it's they much more all, vast yeah. than any other show I think that we've had yeah. announced of like what sh what they're going to be having involved. Yeah. Like it's been getting shorter, and then it's extended. As opposed to longer, yeah. as opposed to Mandalorian and uh, you know Book of Boba Fett live action Star Wars we've had, this has a solid like we must go here. Ends, we must go to here. Rogue One. Cassian Ander. Defined ending. <laughs> yeah, Cassian Ander and all the things, all of his struggles, will go to Rogue One where he kills Tivik. <laughs> right? That's when we first time we see him there. So, yeah. Um, with us doing these as well, there's also our full-length reactions for everything that we yep. do. But with the first episode of a series, we offer that to everyone, whether you support us over at Patreon or not. So make sure you check out the links down in the description below. You can find the link to the first episode's full length down below. And then you can find all the rest of our full lengths over at patreon.com slash blindway for this show, the other Star Wars shows, and like everything else that we do. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Anything else? I think Cassian's parents were lawyers. Why? Because their name is and or. Like and slash or. Are you still trying to ruin my excitement? Yeah. Under. Oh, the logo. The negative space, Eric. Calvin, ah. to my back, get it. Get it. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. That's good. I got it. You got it. You got it. No, Calvin, too much. You're breaking. <laughs> You're breaking me. <laughs> Julie. No, get his belly. No, no. <laughs> See, look that. That's his button. <laughs> That's his button. Damn, I have so much to learn. Preox Morlana Corporate Zone. BBY5, baby. Before the Battle of Yavin. <laughs> I don't feel like we really see that. Very I know. Often in, in, in a live action show, they, no one talks about that. No one gives it a BBY. BBY. Are you from Canary? Nostalgic, are we? Let me go and check on that for you. Dude, a prostitute house is gonna have a lot of information. Mm-hmm. What are you? Seriously? Boyfriend, husband? I'm looking for my sister. Uh, hmm. Oh, what was her name? Nobody here gives their real name. Yeah, what name was she using? If it's not real, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, because, like, you would assume if it's a sister, he would know what his sister's name was. Yeah. What name like, was she what, going by? Yeah, what name was she going by so I can, like, have a lead? Hey! Bruno! Slow down! Ah, uh, the guards follow him. Stop! Oh, that's it. You're close now. Yep. They're both within range. And he knows which one's holding the gun. Oh, the bucket. Oh, fuck! It's so loud. Oh. Jesus, oh. man! Tell me 
what to do. <laughs> Move. Is Cassie in the killer this early? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He, he <laughs> shot him. His nose. Yeah. One oh, of the, he, uh, he shot him by accident? Yeah, one of the bolts rebounded. We had a misunderstanding. And we're going together. The Cassie and I know wouldn't hesitate. No. We're going together. I'll tell them what happened. Oh. <sighs> Assassins, saboteurs. There you go. Terrible things we've done. It's gotta mean something. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was... It feels so real. <laughs> yeah. Those two guards felt so real. Yeah, he's Ryan. Oh, man. This is gonna be a good show. <laughs> Look at that ship. It's, it's, it's like a Y-wing. Wing. It is like yeah. a Y-wing. What? It's like beefed up. Oh, fuck. It's a wide wing. Thomas Harper's gonna go crazy. What'd you say? Wide wing. I don't know what I said, Eric. It's so loud! Things. Dude, he has like a turtle. Design. Turtle mode? They're warthogs. That's so great. <laughs> Zap! Oh, man. It's, huh. like a, it's like a chopper droid almost. He's got like one tread that's a different color. Yeah. Cassian. Cassa. Cassa. Cassa! Cassa! Is that his sister? Oh. The war has come. This is quite the report. This happened when? Last night, sir. I knew you were leaving this morning, and I wanted to make sure you had all the available information before your departure. It's obviously fallen a great deal that. since then. He was a sentry corporal here on one. No mystery there. He's lucky he wasn't killed years ago. One of the most unpleasant people I've ever met. <laughs> I don't understand. I want you to conjure a suitable accident. Uh, cover up. Let's make sure it's on the far side of the plaza. Let's get it outside the leisure zone. But they were murdered. No. They were killed in a fight. They're in a brothel, which we're not supposed to have. The expensive one, which... So Primor doesn't want to have dirty business. Don't put your feet on my desk in my absence and let's have an accident report waiting when I get back. Cover it up. Yeah. I love his computer. It looks so good. Uh-huh. Everybody already feels like such a good character. I have something to sell. Don't we all? How soon could it be here? So you reach out at the end of the month. He did have something when he was running, right? The beginning. He'll come for this. You said he wanted to meet me. So what is it? What is it? Yeah. What is the item? <clears throat> uh, I got an untraceable NS9 star path unit. Vector crystals and Imperial seal still intact. You're gonna need to have an alternative no, plan. No, no, the answer is no. You don't even know what I'm about to suggest. I'm not selling this to you, Bix. No. I didn't hang on to this to have a partner. I need every credit I can put my hands on. Are we betting on the Bobani run tomorrow? Wobani. Wobani run. What? There's a Wobani run coming. Wobani Duke wants to know the, if we're uh, in on it. Prison plan, right? You'll know when I'm ready. That Jin was on? Wobani. It's fun to being say. rescued. <laughs> Congratulations. Wobani. You've been rescued. Congratulations. Lex, you said he wanted to meet me. I really need this. The secret friend? Yeah. Fence or the. Some kind of contact. Do you think it's the Cassian Ender? Maybe. <laughs> I, I anticipate him so much. <laughs> I wonder if Canari was just like uncontacted, you know? Like when they were looking up at the sky, it reminded me of like this uncontacted tribe drone footage that you see. Kinda. Or like, uh, maybe like a, a distantly crashed like colony, colony ship. ship. Yeah. yeah. Cause it looks like they have like uniforms and stuff. They're gonna go out and they're gonna find out what that was. Yeah. I don't see any elders, do you? Not very old. 
Huh. Like the oldest is probably like 20. Yeah, you're right. Find it. Whatever it is, I want to know when it left and where it went. You'd have to filter the entire night. Well, if it's too much for you, let me know. I'm sure somebody wants the chair. You know, I don't think he's following his superior's advice. He is not. <laughs> I don't mm. think he likes the idea of someone just dying and being written off. Hey, Cass. Hey. <laughs> it's a hurry. Got some place to be? Why'd he slow him down? Just waiting to hear they're on site, okay? Fetch. <laughs> his muscle. <laughs> I'm gonna do us a favor and not mention this happened. Vetch, very nice to see you. You too, Cash. Bye, Cash. Yeah, what? right? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love a shrug out of that. But all I had to do was stand. That being. Ferrex. Yes, sir. We've been working on it. Canary human males on Ferrex. I'm afraid that's a blank, sir. Ferrex. What? Oh, we have got a uh, Imperial census. How old is it? This is six years ago. We are simply asking for information. Have you ever been there? What difference does that make? They have their own way of doing things. This is the murder of two Primor employees! No one cares. Put out a bulletin. Canary human men wanted for questioning. Slam their channels, flood it. Set up a desk here to monitor anything that comes in. Let's go! Deputy Inspector. Yeah. Oh, the chief inspector is going to be very unhappy. What do you think they're doing? Forgot something. Nell, he's in the office. Hegla, Hegla! What in the name of Chop is going on out there? The name of Chubb? I was going to ask if I could borrow it again tomorrow. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Close this out. Don't come back. Oh, come on, Pegla. No, no, no. No. We're done. No more favors, no more deals. He like runs exclusively on favors and deals. Yeah, I mean, when you don't have money, that's all you have, right? Yeah. Finish up, get out. Don't come back. Mm. Pegla? Pegla. There's so many named characters. As a trivia guy, it's, it's kind of daunting. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Calvin, you're so right. It's all kids. I really wonder how this is going to connect in with the rest of the story and stuff. These lost boys. Yeah, right. I mean, nothing good. How old do you think he is here? Because he said he's been, quote unquote, in this fight since he was six. I don't know. He's a little oh, older there. So did something happen before this, and that's why it's just the kids, you know? Maybe. Yeah, like, yeah. is this a, a group of people that, like, they're surviving after something? Yeah. The word ends. That's Damn. where it ends. Oh. Well, that's why we have a three episode premiere. We got yeah. a lot to go through. Okay, so we're going to have just a short discussion here before we jump into the next one. And also, make sure you, you remember, we do add uh, timestamps to these videos now. So if you need to move around and see what you want to see, but check out our discussions. We have so much fun with them. Uh, first impressions, guys, after the first episode, what'd you think? I mean, it's, it's a slow burn, which yeah. I figured, I mean, that's why you release three episodes at once, I think, is like, yeah. well, we know the first episode is going to be a little bit slower of a burn, mm -hmm. so we're going to get into things over a few episodes. Yeah. yeah, and also why you have a 12-episode season. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, it's, one, it's adding to more lore aspects of Star Wars with different places and stuff, too, but getting to know Cassian and, like, getting to see this flashback to young him and what he's thinking about. I'm yeah, curious it's... on how that will tie in, if it will, or if it's just yeah. going to really establish character exactly it, it's i mean we as star wars fans we're used to this the prequel right like we know a character and now it's about how does he get there or where did he start to get to that point and that's why that first scene for me was so tense because i truly had no idea if he was going to shoot that guy or not i don't know if he's he is the killer cassian rebel intelligence that we know already but i don't think he wanted to but he did you know so yeah. i think cassian already feels like he does some he does dark shit to survive, but it doesn't feel like he's part of any type of larger role like he is when we meet him in Rogue One. No, I think he's trying to get there. Yeah. Like he I think this guy that he's trying to meet, like I think that might be his like yeah. his introduction, right? He told Bix your friend wanted to meet me. Not that he wanted to meet the friend, but now he wants to reach out and try to sell this 
uh, NS9 Starpath or whatever it's yeah. called. Interesting. Um, so yeah, we, we can just kind of surmise a little bit about his life, but I want to get more into whatever this Canari flashback is and sure. what that meant. I'm interested in that. I also thought it was kind of interesting to have... Uh, I'm trying to think of any other movies or shows or anything that really established the BBY of anything. Like, I know books did that a lot, and they would establish, yeah. like, where they were located, and that was used a lot for, like, fans talking about where things were and where things sat in place. Um, and I think even timelines of, like, in books, yeah. even canon books, they kind of, like, they kind of show the timeline. But for a movie or TV show... Yeah. To like be like this is this many years before the Battle of Yavin. There was a is interesting a somewhat more recent attempt to start a new timeline, uh, and the fans were like, no, we like BBY. It just makes too BBY much BBY and ABY, right? Well, yeah, it, it just it, yeah, it's too much of a perfect way for us to think of the timeline, which is literally 1977 Star Wars. That is the thing. I understand in universe it might not be that big of a deal. But, I mean, it's the destruction of the Death Star. It is the first major blow of the destruction of the Empire, which is just a continuation of the Republic in a way. Sure. So it makes it kind of makes sense. But you figure it would be, like, Episode 3 might be more appropriate in terms of before the Empire and after. Sure. You know? I think the main thing is it depends on how far after maybe yeah. why you go. Because mm-hmm. if your timeline ends up being, like, if your timeline's this long... Yeah. And this long is after the Battle of Yavin. Sure, and everything sure. else ends up, especially with High Republic, yep. you know how far back that goes. 200 years, If they go yeah. to the Old Republic with the KOTOR games supposed mm-hmm. to be coming out still, like, like there's a lot of space this there's, way, and you're getting only, like, you know, 100 years maybe this way. Sure, <laughs> you know, I, I get at, you. at most. Yeah. So. Uh, I understand. If, if, if that is, like, maybe it's too skewed, and maybe, maybe. you'd want to bring it more to, yeah. like, I don't know. No? I mean, I just... It, it's it's like a validating thing to see on a live action Star Wars show, BBY, because, because that's something I'd thought about for twenty years reading sure, yeah. Legends books and stuff. So that's really cool. We do have this uh, this world that we're on, which is Morlana One, right? And they mentioned there was a like he was like, oh, he was up on four, there on one. So I'm assuming there's this system is controlled by this uh, Morlana pre ox. Pre-more corporate. corporate. Pre-more yeah. corporate. So there's pre-more corporate, and then the corporate has a security force, right? Or is the security force the corporate corporation? I think uh, they're the corporation. The security okay. they're, force. They're is, like the security. So the company. Okay. The pre-more were the guys that got killed, and then yeah. they are like running the the corporation yeah. of everything. I'm assuming yeah. the main they, guy that they left. said it was also a company town, so it feels yeah. like it's. It's owned by the company. It's yeah. security by the company. You get the money from the company. You pay right. it to more. So company. okay, that yeah. makes sense. So the mine that we saw that those guys coming back up from that's probably pre preox or whatever. That's probably the corporation itself, right? They're a company town. Yeah. When I think of company towns, I think of like West Virginia coal mining towns. Sure, like that's the miners are coming out yeah. or whatever it is they're doing. They're okay. going to do their stuff. There are sense. security guys doing their things, and that's why like, what was it that they said like? I remember what the one guy was talking about too with the guys that died and he's like they were probably on duty drinking they shouldn't have been drinking in a place they shouldn't have been in like it was like all these things yeah. that they were doing they, that were, they shouldn't have been doing so it's like we're just gonna ignore all this because if we, I have an inspection from the Empire coming up and I yeah. don't want to have bullshit and on if, my records and if we acknowledge any of that it's just gonna cause more problems yeah. so let's just cover this stuff up so it's yeah. all making the company look yeah. good because the empire also is looking at them now that guy he would be inspector and then this guy is deputy inspector right because he made that thought line about like when i'm gone don't put your feet on my desk or whatever implying that he takes the role right so mm-hmm. i think he yeah. that's what that is. i didn't get catch his name there are so many characters already there were a lot of characters i hear that this show is going to have a lot of characters so yeah. i'm personally excited i just it's weird watching Star Wars and not knowing everybody's name sometimes, sure. you know? Yeah. So there's like an exciting part of that, but there's also a daunting part of that where it's like, let's jump in because this show already feels like it's going to be, uh, you know, like like we talked about the music. It's not Star Wars. Star Wars is big and grand, epic and galaxy changing. This right now is just a little, you know, Cassian Andrew is like a little rock that starts to fall, which gives you Jyn Erso, which gives you Rogue One, which gives you hope, right? Sure, yeah. So that's really cool. I, I think that's a, a good direction to take it. Tony Gilroy directing and writing this. Uh, and producing. And producing. Fantastic job. I love Tony Gilroy's, uh, you know, you, you see him in the interviews. He doesn't really want to be there. He's there because, well, they brought me in to fix Rogue One, and then they were going to make this Cassian Andor show, 
And I was like, you guys are fucking it up. I'll do it, <laughs> you know? So he just feels like this responsibility. It's like, oh, here's how you do it right. I'll do it myself. <laughs> stuff, you know, when he starts writing and show. It, it shows, like, just the... There's such a... Uh, a passion ca- for the story. A passion, but also, like, everything feels, like, grounded and real. Sure. Like Every the, shot. The layouts of their town and yeah. stuff feels really good. Yeah. And I like some of the... There's some really cool alien stuff. We had a new droid. Yeah. Like, B2EMO? Bazemo? I don't know how you would say it, but that's at least what the subtitle B2 said. emo. He's yeah. cool looking. I would just call him B2 emo. Yeah. And I, it's like based on his power, he can lie or something like that. I thought it was an yeah. interesting yeah. idea. So he has like, like a turtle, uh, like a Batmobile, you know, locked version of himself, right? And then uh, it's really interesting to see what is what reminds you of an astromech or a utility droid have a English-speaking voice. As opposed to beeps and boops. Sure. I don't know. So he's like the last a time we saw droid. something like that? I don't know. So like a droid like yeah. that to talk? But it's interesting that like a droid like that to talk takes more effort to lie. You know? Because did, maybe he wasn't programmed to talk. I don't know. Didn't Dio talk? Dio, or did yeah. did not talk? You no, know, he did. You he know, had words. But he had a very limited vocabulary. Like, sad. Yeah. You know? Broken. Um, this one's like talk. No, thank you. No, thank yeah, you. No, no, no. No, no. Yeah. But he was very, like, uh, he's also not, I wouldn't call him a utility droid, necessarily. He's kind of like a run-and-gun repair droid or something, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Micromech. Utility droids, like like astromechs or chopper, or, you know, R2. Generally, you tell them to do something, they go do it. They don't need to talk back to you. Yeah. You know, but this droid, I don't know exactly what its uh, original purpose is, but at the very least, it might have been modified to speak. I don't know. But it, it also kind of like it has a stutter. It does, which I think is really well, interesting. I think it's using the stutter though as in a way of its like power, power. issues. Yeah, so sure. it's stuttering because of power, but it yeah. makes it stutter seem more of like a characteristic of the droid. Yeah, rather than the power. Kind of like sure. Badonka Gonk. Like Badonka Gonk. All right. Uh, well, I also want a special shout out. Whatever that ship was that like had Y wing engines, but. It, As Aaron it calls it, it, the wide wing. It looked like, yeah. It was it that was. one that he was working on there at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what kind of ship it was, but it was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Uh, at the very, very beginning, when he's going across that bridge or the top of that wall, like he looks like he's almost hiding something. No, he's just walking through the storm. I think he was just okay. trying to maybe, hide maybe himself, he's just, and he's getting okay. wet. I thought, for some reason, I thought, oh, because he has something in his jacket? But, I mean, it turns out he does have something, but maybe not then. This is he has of, something no, hidden. This is his uh, I think it's, get out of jail free card, right? Yeah, he gets the money so he can get off his yeah, plane. I yeah, I think it's his rainy day fund. And he's looking for his sister, his sister. Mm-hmm. I suppose, or... I mean, I'm going to assume it's the little girl on the one canary that is named... Uh, I don't know her name, but she called him Casa. But yeah, um, no, right now I'm liking it. I'm wanting to see where we go with... Not just Cassian, because I know we also had some stuff with like Mon Mothma and whatnot, mm-hmm. and like, is that how's that going to come to be, and yep. what are we going to do with that? And I sure. feel like there's just a lot of things that we can open up and I dive agree. into, especially five years before. Yeah, you know, like where yeah. the rebellion's not kind kind of there, but not True. quite there. You know, like you know what this felt like? This felt like the first part of a Clone Wars arc in a way. Sure, where it's like it you got it a little did. bit, and yeah. I think they might be doing that with the twelve episode season. Maybe they have like. Four arcs, you know? That's true. I, I, I remember us talking about that at one point, but I'm not sure if that's speculation or actual something that's going to be happening. But it really did feel like you ended it, you're like, all right, well, got to wait a week now. But you know what? We don't. Nope. Start the next episode. Oh, that's it. I wonder where this is. One of these leaves is just like, fly away. <laughs> well, here's like the one of these leaves in the front. Just, this is the first piece of technology we've seen. Yeah. Like a old grill or something. I don't know what that was. <laughs> like a water purifier or some shit. I don't know. Oh, oh shit. So this is all abandoned and shit. So would this have been like the Empire mining for resources for the Death Star? Death Star? I don't know. Or just and like they took a lot of shit. From there. Yeah, I mean, look at that, that cutter is. thing. Yeah. Calling everybody to work.
I will forever now, every time the courthouse in Marietta rings, think that's what's happening. Batman. <laughs> it's not. Well, from a distance, Get it sounds nice. But up close, it's horrific. I'm pretty sure these are just dogs. With what dogs. are those? What are they dogs? Mr. Those little bird thingies? Yeah, did you see those vultures? That also looked like a Y Wing there. Or a. Maybe a Clone Wars Y Wing. I forget what it was called. I don't think it was called a Y Wing in that. Why don't we do something fun tomorrow night? That was a plan. Just lock up the back. I'll take care of all this. Thank you. Yep. He'll do anything for me. Mm hmm. Including be suspicious and follow her everywhere. Sus! Ooh. Star Wars ever done this? No. Without delay. Well, he knows one that he doesn't like. That would be me. Baba Vix. Vix is lo looking for you. What? Well, why would you do that? When? When? When did you call? Just what? now? Tell me. Your calm failed. Your calm. Be How did that come, come up? Just forget that. What She's still in the yard. Me? What do Me. they want? Wait! This is so chaotic. Yeah. I love it. He wants to sell that thing. Oh, he ran out of power. Yeah. Fuck. Listen, forget what I said this morning. I'll tell you the piece. I just need enough to get out of here. He's coming. The buyer's coming. Hmm. It's too late to call him off. He'll be here in the morning. Fuck. He's gotta wait. You gotta sit here. Yeah. We're gonna hold out and wait, and not get caught. I won't forget this. Is that the dude that- Tim. Tim! <laughs> Is this like a phone call? Yeah. Contacting security forces. You called him, right? He's on his way up. Cassian Andor. Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim. Oh, that's the uh, girl at the... Yep. Yep, it is. Who is it? Is it too late? Booty call? I'm here. Yeah, I, I see that. But no, I meant, I meant yes. It's not too late. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I'm alive, aren't I? I'm just, I'm surprised. Good. Do you want something to drink, or...? No, I've, I've had enough. Are you alright? I don't know. Get better by the minute. You don't see this much of Star Wars either. No. What? Hookups. Huh? I've seen kisses in Star Wars. Episode two. Episode That's a bad. Five. Not necessarily like leading to bed and undressings and stuff is what I'm saying. Episode yeah. Before five, that, the most we got was like. That's a titty. What? I didn't see a titty. You weren't looking. There was no titty. There was. She didn't even take off her shirt yet, Calvin. She took it off as she was going around the corner. No. There was. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more, sir. Tempo is crucial. Velocity in the service of inspired leadership. Is there a worthy substitute? I think not. So one, he sounds like Benny, Billy Connolly. How do you say his name? Billy Connolly? Yeah. yeah. Connolly? Connolly. Fuck. Excellent. If I may, sir, hats off to you and Chief Inspector. Two men dead, line of duty, colleagues, subrages. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Man. I've seen it, sir. Half measures. To take it slow, to wait and see. It's a plague on discipline. Fish your men, yourself, the rest of your life. These guys are so ready for the Empire. They are. I'll pass along your kind words to the Chief Inspector. So. So. Yeah, but you you guys are jackasses harassing people. So. Well. Doesn't mean you can murder people. Either. Apples in a bunch, right? <laughs> right. He's right. Apples in a bunch. Apples in a bu bunch. Of, we, bunch of apples. There's, uh, yeah. there's a bunch bad of apples. apple in a bunch. Apples. It'd be a bunch of bad apples. Yeah, or a banana even. Yeah. Get a banana in a bunch. Sure. Now you've really fucked up this analogy. No, you have. Oh. Hey, 
I've seen those lanterns. We bought them at the dollar store. Whoa, what is that? That's the the Imperial stamp that's still intact from the unit. Of the uh, star, NS9 mm, star path unit. Star path, okay. yeah. So is that like their navigational chip? It looked like the targeting computer that like... Got a pistol. Oh, that was cool. Is that a Briar pistol? Is it, that what Kyle Katarn uses? No. No, it is. No, it's not. It, it looks looked, just like one. It looked no. like it. He used a lightsaber, Eric. No. No, yeah, you're fucking if it, wrong! If it's a Briar pistol, I'm gonna go fucking crazy. That's what I'm saying. Okay? Okay, I give you okay. permission now. Eric, you're already trying to go crazy, and that's what we don't even know yet. <laughs> Optimized landing. Landing Whoa. scanned and locked. A longer walk this time. The shuttle will be 2.3 clicks away. There's nothing closer. Nothing safe. That was a cool shot. This is a cool shot. It's all a cool shot. This is a cool shot. No, Aaron. No, it's not. We've seen this shot a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> No, it is. It's great. It's really good. He landed in a crater. Oh. Safe. Is this the shot? It's out of the radar cross. This is the cool shot. Here it comes. Yeah, it is. Flip that hood. Dang it. What? No, the trailer's wide open. Did they B. If you've powered down back here again, I'll be so upset with you. <laughs> Are we going to have the... Guards? Is this where uh, Cassian's home is? Like, are the guards gonna come here? Like his registered home? Yeah, yeah like looking. they're looking for him. Hmm. I like the color of that blanket. I don't know. Make, make me think of Star Wars. The little Bantha! I got that toy! Ah! Like a Bantha. No. You don't have that toy? That toy's there. No, trust me. I can go down. Is that his stick? It's his stick from when he was a kid. Yes, it is. Mm. Is that a blow, like dart? A blow dart gun? Yeah. Okay, what kind of ship is this? Is that a dude? That is a dude. Like a clone dude? It looks like a clone dude or... made to me, but it's also... Oh, that's no, not a clone. That's not that clone. Is... It's just like a... Right. That's no. not a clone dude. It's just got a mask on. It's just a dude dude. Oh. Is he peaceful? Or <laughs> he is not ah, peaceful. fuck. <laughs> Yep, there are blow darts. darts. Dude! How does it take to take them down? Well, are they poisonous or anything? They're probably just for hunting. Like birds and shit. Oh, oh my god! god. Boromir, but shitty. Knock them off! How stupid you did! She's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, she's Fuck. dead. Fuck, man, I liked her. I liked her face. <sighs> she took no shit. So now they're gonna be like, no, we all stay away from here. But he's gonna sneak back in. It's a lot for kids that to deal with. I'm looking up Canari. What Canari. was that? Yeah, he never heard of it either. <laughs> Canari, mid rim, abandoned after Imperial mining disaster. Hmm. Mining, everyone died. Uh, I'd say that's what happened. A mining disaster. They killed everyone so that no one knew what was going on. Okay, if it's seven, you better be ready in an hour. Keep the engine running. Wow. Will you let it Is go? that symbol the same symbol? No. Okay. But it's similar. Whoa, what is that? That looks like a model. It's a pyra- it is a model, yeah. but it's a pyramid. Andor should be considered armed and dangerous. We will have the element of surprise. But there should be no illusions as to the risks involved. And maybe some local residents who are less than enthused with that presence. You may remind them that there's a territorial forum once a month where they are free to make official complaints. Once a month. But they'll be dead before they are smirking. There's no room for doubt on the path to you. Success. Oof. And uh, justice. Best of luck to us all. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think it's going to be scary when he finds his confidence, though. Yes. When someone gives it to him. Yeah. You know what they say? What was that? If you can't find it here, it's not worth finding. Hmm. Okay, his name was Willie. That guy? The mustache? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Willie! With two eyes. Look at that, that looks cool. Exactly where you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I this love it. man. What is this? Motherfucker, uh, quit ending! It's so short! No, it just feels like it. Alright. Let's get into our discussion before we get to the third episode of the day. All right, episode two. I, again, slow burn, but I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying it. I, I like that there feels like there's so many characters, you know, like right there. We just had Willie, right? Yeah. And Willie just had like a, a small little thing. I might not never see Willie again, but. Probably won't. But just, he's in propulsion. Yeah. He does add-ons and boosters. So this place just feels full of like dimensional characters in a, in a way which I think is really fresh for Star Wars it's sure. so many people that are coming and going and like each one of them you can tell has a life yeah. outside of the shot that yeah. they're in yeah you know a lot of movies or sh and shows and stuff like you yeah. can't feel that depth like Karn his scene there <laughs> you know like we know we kind of know him by now he's this guy that is very uh justice minded he might be askew in terms of his uh his moral position worth where he is but he also is like nervous and shy a little bit and there's a lot of room for these characters to grow even not just cassian cassian just kind of happens to be in here too sure so yeah i'm uh and i feel like we're gonna have him not grow in a way yeah you know what i mean like we're gonna see how easy it is, I think, to go to something like the Empire. Sure, and we're gonna see him kind of falling in a darker path of yeah. like what he's willing to do against the Empire as well, right? Yeah. Like that's kind of so. I feel like there's like it's still growth, I guess, but it's like yeah, he's gonna become more and more of what we see in him in Rogue One, and then sure. he has to not be that. But there needs to be elements within him that leads him to not want to mm -hmm. kill Urso. Right, like Galen, yeah. when he gets there, like there needs to be a reason for him to not want to do that. Yeah, I mean, he so, he, he doesn't want to do these things because he he, you know, there, he has a strong character in there, but he does it because it means something. And sure. right now, he doesn't have anything like that. But yeah. this guy coming, this secret whoever he is, yeah, you know, the, you know, the thing I love about this the most is we don't get to see this. We don't get to see just normal people living in the galaxy. It's so rare. You 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 I mean you see like the Cantina aliens and sure. you see him for a second. You're like, oh, cool design, but you know, no one talks about Moma Nadon from Episode Four, the Athorian. They just say Hammerhead, sure, yeah, cool, moving on. But here we have like yeah, little tiny Mana Man, Mana Man, yeah, a Mana Man, a Mana yeah. Man. Well, here we have all these little tiny characters that m may not themselves have a lot of substance but they all kind of equal into this like very sure. vibrant and you're getting more there's more planets more places in the galaxy yeah. so you have this canari place and you have like people being like look at the canari like what's yeah. canari like, i don't know you know like sure. before it felt like oh well there's coruscant and tatooine naboo and like all right there's the 10 planets we know yeah sure know? like everyone knows where everywhere yeah, is everyone's from coruscant all the time people yeah. always have to end up at tatooine but here like you're branching out more and more and we're getting so many planets and now it's like What's a canary? I've never yeah. heard of it. Yeah. Like, this Wikipedia says, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, it's like someone from New York, like, or one of the boroughs or something like that, knowing where all of the, the cities yeah. or the suburbs of New York is. Sure. But then you tell them, oh, yeah, Marietta, Ohio. Marietta? Why what the fuck is Marietta, Ohio? Yeah, exactly. So oh, I like, I like, shit. like, it feels more lived in and all that kind of yeah. stuff is happening, which is really cool. But yeah, I'm just thinking like Cassie and like, like with, with like Darth Vader. Like you see his, you see the fall of Anakin yeah. to become the Darth Vader, and it's because he loves and cares about someone, mm -hmm. and that ultimately ends up turning him dark yes. because he wants to save that person so bad. Because he burns so bright with passion and with love, that yeah. that gets turned on him. But then when you get to the end and stuff too, like ultimately what saves him is he finds this love for his son. Yeah. He doesn't want to fall down that again, and is ultimately the love that he cares for his family and stuff. I know, and, or and or Padme as well, realizing because that in the first time in twenty years, someone you know? cared for him. Yeah, and all, or. These, all these things like he chooses that, but like 
Uh, if, if you don't look at it as like, well, yeah. why'd he turn and why is he turn here? Mm-hmm. Like, I want to kind of feel like that for Cassian. Yeah. I want to be like, why does he not shoot Galen? What is it about Rogue One? Like, sure, Jen is talking to him and stuff, but yeah. what does that mean to Cassian? What is, why what is, doesn't he do it? Because he, he doesn't hesitate to kill T- Tivik. He no. shoots him in the fucking back. Sure. And Tivik's already hurt. He you know, climbs away. Own, and he climbs away. But Jen, I mean, he kind of, you know, we can tell that he likes Jen, but Jen is looking for her father, looking for family, looking for her tribe. Cassian, from what we see, Casa has a tr- had a tribe, and apparently doesn't have it anymore. So yeah. that might be something that kind of speaks to him. So I want to. I'm hoping to get that from this. Me series, too. Is what I'd like. I think what I'm enjoying the most, Aaron. We talk about this all the time, like when we would watch Star Wars Resistance or or anything, where it's like, you know what? I want like a good perspective of what it's like to be in the Empire. You know, like yeah. people in the Empire. And we're not getting that here, mm-hmm. but we're getting. I love the line: "Corporate tactical forces." Uh, are the for, like yeah, corporate tactical forces are the first line of defense for the empire. So most people probably don't even interact with the empire much because it is a galaxy-spanning mm-hmm. force. But it's these like corporations, you know. Sure. I mean that's what the that's what the the the, the separatists were were all the corporations. And that stuff settles back in. There's power vacuums sure. left by the Clone Wars. So they come in, they take all these things, and then what's going to happen? In five years, the regional governors will take control of yeah, everything. Sure. But there's still all of these politics. That's and that's say. cool. Like we should yeah. be slowly transitioning to that, to yeah. where like the planets are kind of governing themselves, mm-hmm. but the empire is overlooking all of it that they yeah. can and stuff. Because yeah. it's hard for the empire to just like I'm taking control of every planet. Yeah. But if you can control the people controlling those, yeah. then you're good. And we haven't even we we feel the presence of the empire already. Have we seen a single imperial thing? Not really. We just, just, just the, the cog. Only, just the yeah, NS9. Just the, just the cog stamp on yeah. the NS9 star path. That's cool. That makes sure. the Empire scary. I like the, that decision. We're two episodes in, so I haven't seen the Empire. Sure, yeah. And that's what Cassian will be. His whole and, character and, will and be the uh, Imperial targeting units. Yeah, right? sure. Yeah. That she's scavenging. Yeah, there's been mention of him, but we haven't seen anything really. So Look up. For Calvin, can you look back? I need to find a picture of that pistol he had. This has to happen before I move on, or I will go crazy. And the only reason I'm freaking out like this is because the Briar Pistol from Dark Forces has been... It is fucking... It's Kyle Katarn's signature weapon. So when I play that first-person shooter, that's the fucking pistol I see. So it's gotta be it. Like, that's it, right there. I mean, it definitely has, like... It had the barrel ridges on the top. Yeah. It has a very similar look, if not... And it could be too. Like this is a older model of a similar gun. I know. I'm, I'm just. It should be just. After Kyle has now. never been canonized uh, or anything. But if his if the gun is in there, then hope. Then hope what? Is there. It's it just lend, a gun, it, Eric. It lends credence. Fucking Kyle can be in season two. That's what. No. Here, you want a gun? Here you go, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, you know what's also cool, Aaron? Kyle Katarn in the old legends was the guy that found the the Death Star plans, and then. Cassian will one day be on Rogue One that gets the Death Star plans. Sure, yeah. Maybe they're turning him into Kyle. So a little bit more? Um, That's not the best one. Yeah, dude, yeah. It's fucking it. Look at it. It's, uh, it's very similar. It looks I don't, very similar. I don't see, like, the back, like... The hammer. Uh, hammer of it, but it could just be the angle, it too. It could be a hammerless design, but too. it has the barrel, like, ridges on the top, and then, like, that below, it's very smooth and looks like you can almost hold it there, you know? Sure. So it has a very similar design. Like I was saying, like it could be like this says K sixteen Briar pistol. Yeah. Like this could be like the K fifteen Briar pistol. Sure, you know, I get like you. it is the sure. same kind of style, but just a little different. It's like when you got like the X wings. It's like, well, these are the yeah. headhunters. You know, like it's very similar. But I don't see the hammer on the top. Like there's a few things that look different. Sure. But there's a lot of things it that look be adapted, but it just it, it, look at that. Eric. Like it looks like a super sawed off shotgun. Armor, the thing you know? is, is like of. if it's you got like that wood, yeah, the like wood shotgun grip. foregrip on the. Like, <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I turned it in my mind into a first person shooter thing, and I'm like, that's the Briar Pistol. <laughs> the cool thing about it is that yes, you press left mouse, you can shoot. You hold right mouse, it can charge. charge. Bam, and then you can just stormtrooper goes flying off the side. Be curious to see if like it that does works. any of that in the in the yeah. in the show, you know. Man, it's so weird because I, I want so often I would say movie for Star Wars, yeah. yeah. Like shows, especially when it's like tied to Rogue One like this and stuff. I'm used to it only being a movie. This is already the best looking I think the Star Wars television has been. I don't get me wrong, I love Mandalorian and I think Mandalorian exceeds in a lot of things, but there's just something about this that just feels like it doesn't feel like we're all at one location. It feels like we're there. Hmm. I don't know. 
everything yeah. like doesn't feel like we're faking the location yeah. it feels like we're filming the location yeah really cool all right well what's gonna be really cool is jumping in the third episode yeah we yeah. have one more to do so let's do it last one why are they all they must all came from like a yellow planet or they were gassed like it turned their skin. Maybe they, they crash because they were gas. Because they're, you know. Yeah, because they're all wearing like this there's ventilator that stuff. Imperial coggy looking thing. Yeah. Huh. It's definitely Imperial, right? Looks like Chewie, Han, and Luke were here. It's the first time you've seen his face. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it reminds me of Fallen Order. Yeah, it does. That reminds Rocket me of Man. Fallen Order. Yeah, it does. <laughs> wow, man, that is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. Dude, were they destroying like an old AT-AT thing or were they like using it and there was a platform? I just saw legs, that's all I saw back there. That was cool. Keep an eye on her if you can. Where are you going? It's better you don't know. I'll be back. I'll find a way. What was that? I'll be back. There's a quote from Maybe Arnold. he shouldn't tell people this. Mm. Same bye to his friends. Yeah. I mean, he's not telling them where he's going, so they at least know that he's Look at this leaving. stair droid! This that stair droid! Is literally he's he's getting his head walked on. That's so dude, fast. that whole sequence was like all real. Uh-huh. It looked Probably really loaded good. in with a crane, right? Well, like I swore we saw the end of it, but then we kinda cut it off like they had something coming in and lowering down this bus thing. But it all looked practical, including the stair droid. Not tonight. Smart choice. It's the ultimate Ferrix gouge. I know that guy. That was so Find cool. your wallet. Like that one is CGI. Yeah. You know? But that first one looked so good. You don't know. Maybe they went to space. D Eric. You're right. That's more plausible. <laughs> Occam's razor. Tom Cruise is doing it. He killed these men on Morana. <laughs> well, then we better be quick about it. Where is he? Isla. It looks like a lightsaber hilt with like yeah. some kind of metallic rod. It's like a cane. It's cool. And now they're here. So he went to the one planet, killed people, came back to this planet, and now those guys from that planet are coming here to get him. I like the way he has these things inside a turn. Yeah. They're almost like uh, reaction wheels. There. Are we satisfied? <laughs> Let's get that console unit. Maybe we should quit while we're ahead. Are you listening? It's safe. Whatever it was, it's burned off. Oh, okay. I realize now. He's much newer. That droid. Yeah. Yeah. And her hair is colored in. Could be anything. Hmm. Well, in that case, by all means, let's power forward. Uh, is this how she meets Cassian then? I'm gonna assume so, yeah. So are they like pirates? Scavengers. Scavengers. Scrappers. They knew of the gas. Maybe they attacked and yeah, they... Maybe, yeah. Well, she said whatever it is, it's burned off. Mm. I like spirits, son. You just might not want to be here when they come to clean up. Here's your gun, Eric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like these carriers. They're not quite like the clone, like Republic kind of carriers Alaska. and stuff, you know? Yeah. They're also kind of like gray, more like the Empire. Maybe but, they're like, hats. High altitude, because they launched from space. It is. You're right. They still have the wings that fold up, yeah. like the new like Imperial shuttles that they have later. Yeah, that's a really cool touch. Man, that looks that's just that's so good. Yeah. I wonder what that says on the back there. West team on site. It's like a bumper sticker. Yeah. <laughs> Coexist. <laughs> Honk for the Empire. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Why do you what if he's out? like an ex-Jedi or some shit? Then it's a terrible thing to have. Yeah, but it's not a lightsaber. No, but the, some of the other pe uh, passengers on the train had them as well, so I wonder if it's like a status symbol. Maybe. With a Republic ship. Orbiting now. He'll kill him. He'll kill us! B, 
Get me the drowser. No, drowser. Oh, no. Huh? Shut up, Ben. Oh, it's. She's gonna knock him out. <laughs> you better think about this. Don't have time for that. I'm not leaving him here to die. Man. Wow, so she saved him. I have never seen Petunia so selfless. Here they come. We have a warrant for Cassie and Andor. It's one thing about those sliding doors. You can't just open them a crack. Mm. Hey, now back up. Back up. Nothing to see here. Business as usual. Serving a warrant. Corporate authority. Back up. Hmm. What's it? How far? I don't know. I don't recognize them before, do we? No. There's a bunch of corpos looking for Cassia. We almost saw them. Yeah. Okay. Office. That kid was with that yeah. guy. Okay. I don't remember yeah. now. Someone ratted him out. What? What do you mean? I need to go find him. No, Rix, no. Someone has to. It could be anywhere. Tell her. Don't. Don't. Don't what? He can take care of himself. Who? Hmm. How do you know what we're talking about? Hmm. I can't believe you picked that. What did you do? Tim! He was jealous. He snitched. Fucking Tim. You got the money, I got the box. What else is there to talk about? I'll give you another thousand credits to tell me how you got it. <laughs> They're so fat and satisfied. They can't imagine it. Yeah. Not someone like me would ever get inside their house, walk their floors, take spit their in their food, take their gear. Huh. True blown spy. These days will end, Cassian Ander. The way they laugh, the way they push through a crowd, the sound of that voice telling you to stop, to go, to move. Telling you to die. Rings <clears throat> in the air, doesn't it? Man, so good. He is. The right question is, how much time do we have to get out of here? Why would I go anywhere with you? Don't you want to fight these bastards for real? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so fucking cool. Yeah, he is. Instantly <laughs> like him. <laughs> yeah. May I? I'm the only decent bet you've got right now. You want to die being careful? Want to yeah. die being careful. I love that. Are you carrying a calm link? Why? Give it. Give it to me now. Yeah. He, he has a tracker tracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never carry anything you don't control. Right. Keep track of these rules. Oh, man. He drew his gun quick. What is that? I put slap charges on the doors. What? Whoa. Rule number two. Build your exit on your way in. Rest yeah. Nice. Oh, Jesus. The box. Nice. Where's the box? No! The Starlink. Oh, shit. They're on the box. I mean, that could be 40,000 credits that he can give his Or mom. it could be every Imperial, like, Coordinate in the nine sectors. No! Oh! Jeez. Oh, he doesn't want it. What's Cassian? Well, it's safer for him to get out, yeah. right? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice! Damn, man. This is like our first, like, action scene. Like, major one. Oh, that was neat. Need that blaster. Oh, it's flying. Grab it. Go. Oh, no. Just run. Oh, yeah. shit. Did he get shot? He took one, yeah. Can you get the box or not? Look out. I love this. the holy sound effects in this. The chains. Oh, Fuck, shit. man. Those chains are hurt. What is this place? I'm like Jack Sparrow and Pirates of the Caribbean. Who built all these? <laughs> Who makes all these? Fax! Fax! What have you done to us? You stop right there! Damn. They, they're gonna shoot him, huh? Yep. Fucking Tim. Stop 
Tim, man. I didn't want to die. I kind of did. Do not cross Calvin Grubb. You're going back to the pod. On myself. Get the pod in the air. Keep your radio on. Get moving. Hmm. I like that he's being like reprimanded for. I like how shooting. Like everybody has a character. You know, yeah. there's no like background people. Like they all have something to do. It's really good. Don't shoot him! He's shooting at people. Oh, I hope that Calvin door Hook. doesn't work. Look what they did! Yeah, he was able to do it. He well, cracked. then she should have done that! Gets to you, doesn't it? Shut it. The two guys left over. That's what a reckoning sounds like. Oh, fuck. A reckoning. The little pockets of rebellion. Whoa, look at these guys. <clears throat> Oh, oh, did they scrap their ship? He did something to it. Shut up! He like sabotaged it. It's when it stops. That's when you really want to start to fret. Why? What happens then? Wouldn't you like to know? She already won. She already got in your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you failed as soon as you asked that question. Scene. Now it's so quiet. It's so quiet. We've had that beating for. Oh. <laughs> Gets back. What do you think you did? Can't start the ship. It's gonna like blow up. Oh, it's tied. Oh, it's, it's leaking tethered. gas. Or is it tied? It's tethered. Oh my god. That's so much better than what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> A reckoning. Which one do you want? That's a cool it's a, speeder. It's a truck speeder. That's them, they're getting away! Or it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. All of their attention. Oh, it's so smart! Now they're distracted with that. Yep. Maybe they think they're dead. <laughs> swoop oh, bike. Like a swoop bike. <laughs> ah, oh, I oh, thought that shit. was the charge, but no. It's much bigger. Mm. I'm say, I wonder if that guy was dead, right? Because he has his pistol. Maybe, maybe he was the one. You say his name's Clem? Clem, yeah. Made another rebel. Come on, we need to get out of here. Yeah, don't be the person that's chained up next to the dead guy. Like, I love this man. <laughs> so Whoa, cool. look at the field. Rice patties. Gorgeous, man. That's I mean, fucking come amazing. On. Son, we need to get out of here! Yeah, shock. Those two officer actors have great chemistry with each other. They do. Like it really feels like they're bound by duty. That ship cool. is so, so cool. cool. Hmm. Interesting the, the parallels of this. Yeah. Yeah. Leaving the planet he's known and the family he's had, <clears throat> flying off into the sun, have a new life. And a new parent figure. <clears throat> Someone else to lose. Wow. Mm. <coughs> all right, man. Woo! Okay, that is all the three first episodes. And uh, again, like we said in one of the other discussions, like it, for me, they kind of feel like Clone Wars episodes of arcs in a way. And it's like like the, the episodes, like they kind of just stop. Like I could have watched all of these three at once easily. Yeah, from my, in my opinion, no, as, as, as like a movie, just the same way you could watch all of Umbara and it feels like a little movie, right? Sure, that's what it feels like to me. Be <sighs> sure, and like I don't know if going forward, will the next episode be picking up right where we left off? Yeah, will there be any little time, time jumps or anything to see like here's where we are and what's been happening? <laughs> also, the way we left off with like 
we zoomed in on like Bix yep. on the other guy who was working that mm-hmm. thing. Yep. The scrapyard. Yeah. yeah. And it made it feel like we were supposed to be thinking about like what they're thinking about and what they're doing and then fighting these like not imperial but kind of empire guys or are they going to be a bigger part and they're going to come back into something or? no i for me it's uh it's kind of what mava I, I don't know if i'm saying her name right but what she was saying like it's it's when things get quiet that sure. the danger comes right so all of those people for this one moment as this this you know this corporation security was was assault in their neighborhood mm-hmm. kind of like had this realization of like huh we can do something it's like all these small people it's not the loose skywalkers it's not the general dodanas or the wedge antilles but it's sure everybody else in the back of the rebellion this is maybe how they start well yeah luke couldn't have done it alone no no one can and he he wasn't the first rebel yeah you know, and I mean, he didn't. He didn't inspire others. And like, it, the rebellion was already in full swing when he joined. Luke wouldn't be able to do what he did unless Cassian does what he does in Rogue One, and Cassian can't get there until and he takes his first steps with this new character. This new uh, the the subtitle said Luthen, yeah, as his name. Uh, they didn't actually say his name, but instantly fell in love with a character that could be like. I mean, we've had this a couple of times with like Saul Guerrero uh, and and others like the beginnings of what the rebellion could be not what it becomes but what it can be spark of the belt yeah mm, i think yeah. it's really cool it's such a different corner of the galaxy than we usually see in stuff like rebels or uh clone wars that type of thing yeah sure. you know it's the background characters <laughs> yeah i mean he is i don't know if i'm like for me i don't think i'm in love with him yet yeah but i'm interested to see like where we go with him you know yeah like what kind of story we get um, I just like his like instant recognition that Cassian Marva. Yeah. can be something way more than he is right now. Like, sure. how did you do that? Like, Cassian's whole monologue about like just walk right in, like they're so fat and happy, they, they think that they're in control. Yeah, yeah. That's well, so cool. it's kind they can of never what, imagine someone doing that to them. Yeah. It's like what happens with Han and Luke and Chewie and stuff, mm-hmm. right? Like, there's they're just walking through the Death Star. Yeah, like all of them essentially just there's a ship that landed there. No one knows anything about it, mm-hmm. and they're able to just walk. Yeah. Up into the Death Star, over to the, the the tension bay, you know, all that kind of stuff, and yeah, yeah, no one bats an eye at anything. No, and it, it's it's great because, uh, and they do that later on too when they're just walking into still the Death Star plans. Yeah, wow. Anyway, no, it, it's great. I, I love it because not only is that show that you know Cassian can be a tool and a a hero in his own right, but Luthen was like, kill him, <laughs> you know, like. Uh, the heart, the hope isn't there yet, right? You have sure. the, the 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 rebels are gonna have to do some very bad things along with doing very good things, and I I feel like Luthen's gonna be a character that we can explore yeah. that more. The mm. the comfort of morality is not there yet. The yeah, we have uh, you know I brought up already Saul Guerrera, right? Yeah, it's a very different the, type of rebel. The desperation than, of the early rebellion. Yeah, uh, rebellions are bloody. Yeah, this was a little more. This was less fan- space fantasy, and it was more sci-fi for me. And I think it was a welcome corner of the galaxy oh, because definitely. we're not we're not focusing on Jedi, we're not focusing no. on emperors, we're focusing on sure. no one who said "May the Force be with you." We don't even have the Empire. No, yet. it probably should be more like Rogue One, where Rogue One yeah. is very more true. No, none of the magic elements, and yeah. it's much more of almost like a spy war movie. You yeah, know? Mm-hmm. Rogue One just has the the element of like, hey, <clears throat> the galaxy is being introduced to the very first. Death Star uh, effects, consequences, right? So when Jeddah is destroyed, it just kind of like shocks everybody. And even the rebels in that movie are like, what do we do? We can't do anything. So they don't even go to help. That's why Cassian has to like get all the motherfuckers together. He doesn't go to the people that are senators. He doesn't, he goes and he finds the spies, the marauders, yeah. the saboteurs. Let's get our motherfuckers together and we're going to go do it. I, I that's always been my absolute favorite part of Rogue One. It feels like that's what we're doing here because we have we spent time with like, like I don't know what, two or three minutes with each character. Like there's probably thirty maybe total in terms of like you know the the father and the son, the guy at the uh, at the shed that was locking it. Like there's like ever like the one guy that was with Luthen on the ship. Like there's all these little tiny characters that kind of add up to they. I don't know, like they, you know, all of them hitting that bell, like saying, like, "Hey, we can do something. We can." 
I, I love that scene, by the way, the banging. Because at first, when it starts banging, especially because it doesn't ring very loud, it gets, it's annoying. Yeah. And then it happens. And then as she's saying, like, it's when it stops that that is, you should be worried. So what happens it, when it stops? Because what happened was, like, it's banging. And then the guy's like, okay, so when it stops banging, that's when it happens. And when it stops, you kind of lose. It was, like, comforting you. Yeah. At a point, right? Like, you were being comforted that it was still banging. Now the annoying thing is a thing that's it's safety. Like, it's like hearing the, the blood rush and the heartbeat in your own ear. If that's not yeah. there, mm. it just utter it, silence. It, you go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a brilliant scene because it, it, I went on a little arc with the, that sound. Like, I hated it. And then I was like, oh, no, I understand what's happening. And now it's gone. And, you, like, the tension, usually tension in a lesser thing is like, with, this, with the music, this was nothing. Yeah, and it was just the silence was deafening, <laughs> it and was that's so only loud. because they were banging on that thing throughout the city. Sure, yeah. I guess I was hoping that there'd be something of it. Yeah, like it seemed like it was more of a warning, and everyone like just are closing up shop yeah. and hiding and everything. But like <clears throat> the the one guys were like, ah, it's intimidation and this and that, and then the lady was like, wait until it stops. That's yeah. when you got to worry. And I'm like, but nothing happened that seemed intimidating. I was waiting for people to like try to stop him or, oh, no, him or do I, anything, and nothing happened. Like I said, like I, I think this is this is what this is the type of stuff, and these are the type of people, these conversations that are happening. This is what happens before a rebellion can form, right? Like this is even just the idea that the whole town could attack us. You know, these fourteen guys here yeah. is a scary thought. And because it doesn't happen yet because there's no alliance. There's no leadership, sure. right? Well, sure. I thought we were building up to that with them being outside the house. Yeah. And you're like, why are you bothering that old lady? You know, what yeah. are you doing? And I was like, is there going to be like an angry mob yeah. thing happening sure. here? And then there wasn't any of that. Yeah. Like, everyone was just gone. Yeah. And I was like, mm. I, I personally saw that as a strength. Like, there's no real leadership yet. You need leadership, right? The, the sequel is like, when you lay is like, I need heroes. I need leaders. I mean, sure. Rebels deals yeah. with the same thing where like Lothal is downtrodden and yeah. whatnot, but they need. Someone to yeah. show that the empire is not all powerful yeah. and can be like, taken down. This, yeah. this place isn't a rebe rebel cell, but maybe in five years it could be, <laughs> you know, or a year it could be, mm -hmm. if it if they keep, you know, resisting. If they keep having. Like, they already formed this kind of like secret signal for like, hey, danger, danger, go hide. Yeah, there's some level of coordination yeah. that they were not aware of before they landed. That's like step one of. Well, next time maybe we have another signal. Yeah, you know? I, I think it's kind of cool, mm -hmm. I, but it is slow. It is a very slow burn. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of welcome after some of the very quick stuff that I mean, we've I'm had. Glad that there it's were true. three episodes Me too. for this because I think the first episode, like, it doesn't really get you in too much. And yeah. here, like, you're meeting some of the main, I, I imagine, components of what this show is going to be diving mm -hmm. into. Like, I still have questions about Cassian and where he goes from leaving that planet and how yeah. he gets to where he is now. Sure. Like, how did he get that? Like, why yeah. did he steal it from? These guys, or did he get onto like an actual Imperial shuttle? He said he you got know? it at. Uh, it was sealed on Skier Guard. I don't know what that means. Yeah, like yeah. What was? Is it, what, what Luth, happened? And that's the thing. Th Luthen doesn't know either. He was going to yeah. pay a thousand dollars to learn, yeah. right? So yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of left up to us. It's not that I don't know exactly how it happened, but it's that he can do something like that that makes him special. Yeah, I guess I just wonder like what valuable has he? What has happened that he started doing that? Like, why is no one else doing that? Why is only him doing it you know yeah, maybe it's just the risk right maybe I don't know. and maybe also because it seems like he kind of grew up in this uh this anti-technological era thing and you know he's suddenly taken from them right by the uh, by mala and clem mala not mala mala's from the holiday special fuck marva marva. <laughs> it's marva marva i don't understand the significance of the stick that he had uh, though it did feel like there were, like, a, I saw a couple, like, three of them in that one shot uh, when they were coming down the Troid, uh, step droid. Yeah. With that step droid was awesome. Dude, I love that shot, because everything in that one shot looked practical. Like, it looked like this ship was really coming in and landing. Yeah. There was really, like, a droid stair yeah. ship coming in to, like, park. And then the next shot, like, I knew it was CGI, but I believed it more because I watched, like, a real ship land, it looked like. Yeah. And that was just really it's, cool. Yeah, it's like just... there was the interactive steam plumes from the, yeah. mm -hmm. the landing thrusters. Yeah. No, it, it looked great. It, I would say I would use the word seamless, because I know there's digital enhancement in there, but I can't tell. Sure. And it's because they put so much effort into getting like, so much in front of the camera. It's just as a visual effects artist, when you have 
that effort already on screen, it's way easier to integrate new stuff. Sure. As opposed to like, here's an actor on a green screen, make it look cool. Yeah. You know? Sure. This was like, they had like, here is our ship prop, yeah. and then we will attach this, yeah. and then we'll land it. But they just must have painted this yeah. out or something. Sure. You know, it just looked really good. I'm like, yeah. I didn't even see this back here holding anything. And then it cut way up to like here. So then you couldn't see what was the back half of the ship and yeah. if anything was holding it or anything. I think that's yeah. cool. I like that. Yeah, me too. And credit to George Lucas where it's due. You know, I know a lot of people give him shit for the green screen stuff, but I don't think that you can, like, we would not be where we are now without those artists scratching their head, looking at a green screen shot and figuring, how the fuck do we make this look real? Yeah. Now, you can, like, combine these two philosophies and make something look yeah. spectacular. Yeah, half time they don't even need the green screens. They just kind of, like... Yeah. Let's add some yeah. shit there, you know? I was like, we yeah. have no green screen. I just add it. We had our, like, first major action scene in this, too, with this, like, counterweight warehouse thing. Like, I didn't it understand. Like a, it was like a Tomb Raider trap. Yeah. <laughs> in this old like, factory that building. one guy literally, like, stepped into, like, a loop and, ah! <laughs> you know? Yeah. It was great. It felt like a, I don't know, like a video game level or something like that. Sure, yeah. And you have that element where Cassian looks back and Luthen's gone, and he's just thinking, all right, yeah, that motherfucker just left me. Yeah. But no, he didn't. He came back for him. Or I guess just flanked around being yeah, sure. He flanked, he, he displaced, yeah. as you should. Mm. I do like that element in your gun that you're excited about, Eric. Like, I'm not excited about it. I don't have a connection to it. I but know. I think it's cool. Like It has this rotating inner yeah. cylinder thing that like reloads it, recharges it. It's like it. this side, it does, you like know? Where this like side has a charge, and then when that charge is gone, it, like it's charging the other side or something. I don't know how it works. Yeah. yeah. But it could be cool Like if, if it does a charge-up thing like you're talking Maybe. about. It'd be neat if like that thing starts like... <laughs> You know, it shoots off like a bigger yeah. blast. Something like that could be cool. Yeah. But it just, it's neat. It just gives more motion to this weapon, mm -hmm. which is cool. Because lots of times they just kind of pew, pew, you know? Yeah, sure. There's not a lot of like, like most guns have like the chamber mechanism or bullets, you know, mm -hmm. casings are getting shot out sure, of it. Sure, yeah. slide like reciprocates that. and extracts yeah. and ejects. And usually like most Star Wars guns don't, they just shoot, you know? Sure. There's not really like, the, what E eleven blasters yeah. are just kind of like pew pew, nothing sure. extra of it. So it's neat to see like this rotation and like it's like a cocking mechanism yeah. or something. That's really cool. Do you yeah. think it's like an act, the actual prop doing that? It looked CG when it did I it. I don't know. Too. I only saw it those two times, but it would be I so would, amazing. I would have a prop love like if they had a practical like mm -hmm. prop to do that. Yeah. I mean, I know like uh, there's Nerf guns and they have like two trigger elements to them, and they'll have like two like revolver things and when yeah. you push the bottom trigger it just rotates yeah yeah to the so top you do one. like so you one just, two three four five six yeah click, and you push and that and it rotates the whole mechanism one two three four five six and you get your six shots again yeah. so like they could have something like that where like you push this button and it flips it you know so sure. maybe it could be practical maybe. but i don't know hmm. i don't know mm -hmm. it'd be cool to see but no they should make that a nerf gun yeah they totally should mm -hmm. I just I really enjoyed the way the those scenes were edited together at the end, like like you said, like you know leaving these different planets and having a what could be a parent, parental figure, a new parental figure in that seat, the kind of yeah. raised platform seat, which reminds me of Cassian and K two S O from Rogue One. They had sure. that raised platform in the U wing. Yeah, well, it just has such parallels of him, like yeah. he's on this planet, you know, exploring something he's not sure of and whatnot, mm -hmm. and then here he's like. He's in the middle of things. He doesn't know really what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> like who just this like guy is he, and why he's here. Or anything. But just like a kid, like he just saw his, that his friend was killed or hurt, and he's in there and he's just angry. And she saw like they're gonna hit, get him. I, I gotta, you know, I gotta mm -hmm. save this kid. Yeah, yeah. Like did he go in there? He sees nothing. Yeah. He's mad. And he's just beaten. Like, there's nothing in here. There's no food or anything. Like it's just a tantrum in a way. You know, just anger. Yeah. And that anger can be used for terrible things, as we see in Karn's situation, you know. But mm. that anger can also be stoked and and made. You know, it, you know what? Uh, Luthen reminds me of, like, a good... I don't know if I should say the word good, but Tobias Beckett from Solo, the way that he was kind of mentor for Han, and he just, like, he kind of knew all this, the ropes, but... Sure. He, he may see something in another kid. Like, he kind of reminded me of Tobias Beckett a little bit. Uh, Harrison... Uh, Woody, Woody Harrelson's Harrelson. character in Solo. Yeah. Hmm. But this guy seems to have a uh, a mission, right? Like, what if you take that fight and we do something real with it? Yeah. Do you want to fight these bastards for, for real? real. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, his... The agendas are different, right? Like, oh, yeah. Beckett's there, and his is out for himself. Beckett's for money, about to survive it. For, yeah. But Beckett Whereas, has rules, right? It seems like he has the idea of, like, it's against the Empire. Yeah. The Empire's who we're after, and then you want to help me take yeah. him down. So, like, he has his agenda, which is 
I get what you mean by good because it seems like it has a more yeah. righteous moral <laughs> moral like yeah where Beckett's is like uh, he yeah. just wants it's money about doing the right thing not the thing that keeps you alive yeah in a way though I mean I, I, I want to learn more about his like personal rules I, I like the second one especially like make sure you have a good exit <laughs> make your exit on the way in yeah make your exit on the or way in build your build, build your, your exit. exit yeah uh, never carry anything you don't control I really like that yeah I, I just I can't wait I, I hope we get to see more of that and we don't uh, time jump past it but you never know I mean, mm. that, that could be something I know they had this two season plan with knowing exactly where they're going to go and maybe that will include time jumps maybe I mean it's going to have to at some point I, I should say maybe that will include time jumps between arcs <clears throat> and not necessarily seasons what's interesting I didn't notice it before but in credits it says Marva Andor and it says Clem Andor Mm, yeah. And like that makes more sense of like they found him and the people there were calling him Cassa. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe his name has never been yeah. Cassian. And that yeah. kind of is like what he adopts and then takes the Andor name yeah. as well. And then Clem was the one that was hung in the square. Yeah. Right? Because that your father was hung in the square and there was no father figure at the No, and they scene. called Marva the mother and yeah. stuff too. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if he's really looking for his sister, like what that's about, and if we're gonna dive into that more. The Canari yeah. girl who was at like the The Pleasure House yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and how does he know about it? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Well, I mean, he's like eight years old, maybe. Like, he has memories of her. Like, he probably wants to sure, but how try does he... and find out what happened after he was taken. I wonder what that path has been and how he knows that she was there. It's got to be significant too, like... that it's only children in that group, right? And with there's no way that they forget the line, I've been in this fight since I was six years old. And he looks older than six in this... I mean, maybe he. I don't know, to me, he does at least. I don't maybe know. he remembers or found out about the mining accident that mm-hmm. killed his parents. Maybe. You know, maybe it was some kind of yeah. of gas or something that only affected adults. Yeah. But left the children, mm-hmm. or maybe they were just far enough away from the the mine, the the open maybe. earth mine sure. that they weren't affected by the gas. Or also, it could have just been like a like a Mandalorian lie. Right, like there's that whole thing of like ah stuff happened in Mandalore you can't use, but really like the Empire went and just like sure they just went in right and and gassed it and bombed it and whatever they did yeah like destroyed Mandalore. But there I feel like there was talks where it's like like there's rumors where like people believe it was the Empire that did it and people believe it wasn't the Empire that did it right. So maybe it's kind of like that where it's like there was a mining accident. It's like oh was there the Empire just fucked this planet up and left. That's what Vader uh, said. What happened on Jeddah? Right, whenever they had the single ignition blast on Jetta, and then Krennic goes to Vader to say, "Like I want credit for this," and Vader's like, "You know, the Senate has been told Jetta was destroyed in a mining accident." So they like to do mining accidents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it kind of adds more credibility, maybe, to that kind of idea where really the Empire, well, the Republic, I guess, at the time, yeah. right? Sure. It says mining disaster. Sorry. Yeah, mining disaster. They didn't accident say. They said a Republic. Yeah cruiser was in orbit or on its way or whatever uh, there yeah. right so like it, the Freaking. empire wasn't there yet so maybe that's still during clone wars even i don't know yeah it's I hard would, to I, really I would, measure i would say it's probably before episode three it really depends on the age of cassian and rogue one and then going back how far for him to be however old I yeah know. i would say he's late 20s or 30 total maybe in rogue one maybe right i mean uh jen is early 20s 19 to 22 yeah right? I mean she has a line in there where it's like Saul left her when she was 15 or 16 or something like that and then it had been I don't know four, four or five, five years, years. yeah, yeah. Hmm. so yeah I just wonder what we'll get of that information and yeah I don't know yeah uh, Aaron and I again uh, we mentioned it earlier in the video but we're currently reading Rebel Rising mm-hmm. and uh, I, I, there's some really cool crossover in terms of like what can an early rebellion look like, right? You have Luthan here who seems to be a little bit more moral than someone like Saul Guerrera in the Partisans. And I wonder, I hope, because we know Saul's going to be in this at some point. Maybe. I can't wait to see that explored more. The thing there is, like, he was willing to kill that guy, too, and I feel like Saul would have as well. Oh, yeah, sure. So, like, they may be closer on the same side of things than it is, like, Beckett versus him. I feel like this show is going to be able to show those early conversations because Saul was a valuable member of the rebels for a long time until his militancy went too far and we know that will be 
closer towards episode four and Rogue One. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Like, I'm trying to think of where, like, Rebels falls into different things yeah. and where they end and, mm-hmm. like, trying to just put the timeline together for yeah. everything I mean, we, we know. know of. he's already fighting yeah. right now, right? Sure. Yeah. Like, not not organized. The rebellion hasn't fully formed or anything like that yet. No. He, he, yeah. From the times of the Republic back with Anakin and stuff, like, he was still fighting. Mm-hmm. Like, we're just replacing one tyrant for another. Yep. And it will eventually drive him mad. Yeah. All right. Well, anything else? No. I uh, very much enjoyed these three episodes. Aaron, I think I agree with you that it was good to be able to just watch them all, you know, immediately, not have sure. to wait a week between those, those yeah. first three. I think it helps yeah, yeah, definitely. for the feel of what they're going for, yeah. especially if it's an arc kind of thing yeah. they want to do, and then see what happens with episode four mm-hmm. when we get into that one. Yeah. I wonder if, if, because they are 12 episode seasons, I wonder if they're going for like four arcs. arcs. Yeah. Like Maybe three, 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 and three. Uh, I think cool. that has a lot of advantages, and sometimes it has disadvantages. But uh, almost always, when I, after I've watched something the first time and I go back, I always will enjoy that decision probably more now that I know what to expect. But right now, I, like I, I really am excited by meeting Luthen. And I hope I get to fully meet him and not come back next week. And it's like, okay, well, Cassian knows him now. Sure. Now you like are behind Cassian. I don't want to be behind Cassian. I like being relatively close to what he knows. I like to be. Beside or in front of Cassie. <laughs> sure. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that was a lot of fun. Very much looking forward to this very different Star Wars show. And yeah. we'll be back next week. See ya. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this reaction to Andor. And uh, make sure you subscribe as we'll be back each week with the next episode of Andor, uh, which comes out every Wednesday. Also, our full links available over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can see the entire reaction. Just make sure you sync up your own footage uh, from Disney+.